Oh god, I look like I've been chewed up and spit out by something. <laughs> Welcome back, guys. Long time no see. Been very busy, but I'm trying. Haven't done a get ready with me in a long time, so that's what we're doing and just catching up a little bit. Yeah, my bare face. I envy those people who look good without makeup. Like I said, I just look like I've been chewed up by something, but I'm trying to embrace that. <laughs> I'm gonna start off with this Madara Cosmetics Skin Equal Foundation. I love it. It's actually like, I went through a love-hate relationship with it, but I kind of turned back to it, so... Turned back. Got back to it, so I'm doing this. My day-to-day -day makeup routine sort of changes. Some days I use foundation, and other days, instead of foundation, I use this, also by Madara Cosmetics, this SPF stick, which is really great, especially now that I should be using SPF every single day. So it's like really nice. It also evens out the skin tone. It is a bit oily for my taste, but other than that, I do like it. I do like it a lot. But today I'm going for some foundation, like one and a half pumps and just dot it over my face and just you, you'll see what I'm doing. So it has been a while and now I have reached my third trimester. For those of you who have stumbled on this video randomly, I am pregnant currently and uh, YouTube has been on the back burner kind of, but I don't want it to be. I do want to make videos, but I just catch myself not having enough time to do that because it does take time. It takes time to think of an idea. It takes time to film a video, it takes time to edit it, and I just constantly prioritize other things like work and yeah, and other stuff. I mentioned in my previous video that currently I'm working at Stories and Skincare and it's a tattoo aftercare skincare brand. Tattoo. I always get bugged for how I say tattoo, tattoo. I'm yeah. It is what it is. Like summer is approaching, I will maybe have more free time. Just like there's so many things that I need organizing. Obviously, baby coming. <laughs> it's just like so many things to do. So I'm not trying to cake my face. I'm going with a very light coverage of the foundation. It's also, it's very moisturizing and just, it's not heavy weight foundation. So it's perfect for this. I don't know how to tell you. Yeah, it doesn't cake my face up. If I do put a heavier concealer on top of it, it does cake up a little bit, but I'm trying to get away from that and sort of do, I wouldn't say natural makeup, but just makeup that doesn't look like I have tons of it on. Just the cakey look always throws me off. Like I apply makeup, it looks good, I go out. I don't know, 30 minutes later, I look in the mirror and it's just cake city. I think we're good. I actually didn't use all of the foundation I pumped on my finger. Some days I do, some days I don't. I go in with a concealer. This is actually, it's a really good concealer. It does conceal it, it, whatever that it is. It does conceal things uh, well, but it is on the heavy side. So if I do put too much of this, it does cake up a little bit, but I'm gonna go light because I don't really have any other concealer on me right now. So I always go for the eyes. My skin has been so moody, but I'm just, I wouldn't say blaming it, but just taxing it all on pregnancy because some days I'm like, oh my God, my skin looks so good. It's so even, no breakouts. The next morning I get breakouts like a teenager. While I'm doing this, maybe you can write down in the comments how you've been doing. I know my audience kind of has frizzled out, but for those of you who have stayed and still watch my videos, I appreciate you a lot. It's hard to stay on top of things and be also relevant on YouTube. YouTube. Like I'm not trying to chase after any trend, obviously. I'm just me and I'm just happy for those of you who are here to tag along whatever my journey is. Either it's my tattoo journey, me journey, or my pregnancy journey currently. I I really appreciate it. I just wanted to say that. But yeah, let me know how you're doing. What's new with you? How are you enjoying spring? How can you take me seriously with this like mustache going on? Finally, it's getting warm. So I'm not really gonna talk about the weather. I guess I am. I've been so tired of feeling cold. And also they turned off the heating in our apartment like a while ago. And it was like, there were a few warm 
warm days in the start of like April and then it got cold again and they never turned the heat back on so I was freezing at home and now like since yesterday it's slowly getting warmer again I think we're gonna have 19 degrees Celsius outside today which I'm excited about because I can also finally start wearing normal outfits and not look like Adam Sandler Adam Adam <laughs> why do I feel like I said that weird I just don't want to look like Adam Sandler I've been looking like that at home all the time and I do want to look cute just style the pregnancy bump and just do something with it because I want to embrace that pregnant lady look <laughs> speaking of looking like Adam Sandler I was so frustrated with not being able to find what to wear and like what do I feel comfortable in because I do feel comfortable in clothes that make me look like Adam Sandler just like wide I'm actually wearing them right now like my husband's sweatpants and just anything else that fits because most of my shirts don't go all over my belly anymore and it just looks silly and also makes me cold and so I've been wearing just oversized t-shirts and my husband's sweatpants and sweaters yeah it's it's not a it's not a look I just really wanted to look cute throughout my pregnancy but I also don't want to buy like a whole new closet for just for that reason and then not being able to wear those clothes afterwards so I just want to find like a win-win situation and it's been hard I have bought some like maternity stuff like maternity pants because I just couldn't <laughs> I couldn't live not wearing pants. I did try to just wear tights and like a bodycon dress for I think the first half of my second trimester and I just got so tired of wearing tights that uh, yeah, I invested in some maternity pants and they're great. I'm gonna go with, in, with some contouring. I don't really do professional contouring. I'm just doing whatever this is, um, but I'm using this palette. Highlight and Contour Pro Palette by NYX. I actually like it a lot, but I'm just using these two shades. So this one, as you can see, and this like highlighter thing. And sometimes I use this one for my eyes because it's nice and brown. I'm really all for those browny nude earth tone things on my face. I just do this. I have a random brush and I just do this. I contour some bit of my nose, my cheeks, no, but my like cheekbones or whatever this is. I'm not sure if I have got pregnancy nose, if somebody, if some of you knows what that is, but I don't know, I sometimes look in the mirror and I feel like I look different than I used to, but maybe it's just me. I am such a fail. I have good eyesight, but I guess it was the way the light was bouncing off that I never noticed that I didn't blend this patch of concealer on my chin, bro. <laughs> That's embarrassing. I guess it was the light bouncing off and I just thought I had an extremely shiny chin, but it was actually the concealer. There's not much for me to talk about except pregnancy related stuff because that's like the thing that's consuming my everyday life and I love it. Honestly, I'm so excited about it. I love talking about it, but I also understand it's not a topic for everybody and not everyone's interested, I guess. Yeah, I just, I'm trying to find an outlet where to talk about it and share and in hopes that there's gonna be people that reciprocate it, I guess. And then it's mostly just other people who are either going through something similar or have went through or are interested in it. But I just, yeah, I, feel, I guess I feel a bit alienated that I used to be all about tattoos and I still am, but I mean, things change, people change, priorities change, and now this has consumed my life and I, I like it, but yeah, it's not that. I don't expect everybody to tag along. Just some general thoughts that I have surrounding this, this whole situation. The only thing that is like a, like a tie together where I can talk about tattoos and pregnancy is my tattoos stretching on my stomach. I don't know if you can see, but I mean, I do have a big belly and like the ta tattoos, tattoos are stretching like slowly nothing like drastic has happened to them yet but i'm curious to see because i am in the start of my third trimester so i have still like three months left as much as i understand the belly is gonna stretch rapidly right now so we'll see what happens i'm curious but overall it just looks going more towards down my belly it just looks a bit more faded uh because the ink has stretched but as much as I've heard those people who do have stomach tattoos, after they give birth, they think that their tattoos look so dark because the tattoos like 
stretched like gradually they got a bit less dark and then after birth like the stomach kind of shrinks back a bit and then immediately it just looks like your tattoos are so dark and i'm curious to see how that will look yeah i'm just very fascinated by this whole body changing thing what's happening and how everything's stretching and just morphing into something it's it's fascinating and also very alien like next up I will just set my face a bit with powder because it's a bit too shiny for me currently and I guess powder also could be the thing that's making my face look cakier than it is but I'm trying to not go wild with powder then I'm gonna take this eyeshadow I guess and I prime my lids with this from Essence soft touch eyeshadow i wouldn't recommend it because it has a lot of fallout and it's just very very powdery but yeah it was the only one that they had in this shade at my drugstore priming my lid but also it just makes it look brighter and lighter then with the same brush i'll go into this which is the highlighter sort of and just put a little bit on the tip of my nose and try to diffuse it so it's not that visible but it gives a little highlight and then my favorite spot is right in the corners of the eyes i think i'm gonna move on to the brows so my brow routine actually has changed it definitely has changed since, since the last time i did a get ready with me i'm trying to achieve like a natural brow look but since my brows are so sparse and just whack it's hard to achieve that look because also they just don't stay like i want like yeah like i want them to stay but Recently, my new favorite combo is this NYX Lash, no, not Lash Glue, not Lash Glue, uh, the Brow Glue, and um, they came out with a, yeah, Lift and Snatch uh, Brow Liner, which was something that I was looking for for so long, and they finally came out with one, which is pretty good, because I used to find them, buy them and they like worked for one time and then they just stopped working that annoyed the hell out of me but this is great i'm gonna put this on then let it dry and while it dries i can do my eyes that rhymed one exciting excite one exciting thing i am going to london this weekend yay i am feeling a bit anxious about traveling while pregnant <laughs> i mean yeah, it's absolutely safe. I have the the green light from my doctor. Everything's perfect. It's just like, I sort of can't imagine traveling pregnant, but it's exciting. And my mom's coming with me because she wants to keep me safe and everybody's gonna feel safer because she's with me. But I'm going to London because of work and I will be attending the, the tattoo convention happening this weekend. I don't know, by the time you're watching this, it already happened because I am planning on posting this next week. So I already was there when you're watching this, but I am very, very excited. First of all, I've never been to a tattoo convention and I've always wanted to go. There have been so many times where I almost went, but it just never, escalated so now i'm going there for work with stories and ink and uh yeah if you're there we're gonna meet because i'm gonna be walking around and doing sort of interviews and just fun stuff like that i'm also so excited to meet the team because i've been working at stories and ink since what the start of september end of august and i haven't met the team yet because things haven't aligned yet for that to happen but i'm so glad that i'll get to meet them because after the baby comes i have no idea when is the next time that i'm traveling anywhere so i'm glad that we have this scheduled my brows are so moody i have them sort of glued down and adjusted and then i'm gonna go in with the liner which just helps a lot but while this sort of sets and dries, I will go with my eyes. And that rhymed again. Trying to sit somewhere with a belly like this right now is really hard and uncomfortable. I can't slouch. I have to sit with a straight back, which is something I'm not used to. I'm trying to make it work. 
So I'm going for a very casual look, so I'm not going to do much to my eyes. I will do things a bit backwards. I will do my lashes and then I will just go in with this brow pencil that I mainly now use as an eye pencil because it's a great shade of brown and just do a little bit of a wing to make it look like my lashes are extended. So when I have my lashes not painted, but <laughs> coated then I can see where I need to draw the like line also using this um, this uh, What is it called mascara mascara from Madara if someone would have asked me if there is anything I miss during pregnancy like some people miss drinking alcohol some people miss doing drugs I don't know who those people are but yeah I bet there are people like that out there. Nobody has asked this yet, but I did get a question if I miss alcohol and I don't because I never really used it that much also pre-pregnancy, only like on occasion, so no. But I do like drinking from a wine glass in a situation where everybody is drinking and so I feel like I'm included, but I'm just drinking like a lemonade or some sparkling water. But uh, what I wanted to say is that I do miss getting tattooed. <laughs> I miss getting my shit done. I just, I keep sitting here in anticipation of when I can get my next tattoo done sort of i just really want my back to be done it's sort of irking me that it's not finished and it's just hanging there also i want like my fingers done and like have the insides of my ears done like small things and tweakments it's like when you get a fresh haircut and you're just like oh yeah very nice by the way i do have a fresh haircut um in my last video my hair had really grown out and also got my uh roots fixed so it just looks a bit more natural yeah it's similar like when you get a new haircut you just feel fresh and nice and something new has been added and i miss that feeling of having a new tattoo i do not miss <laughs> healing a tattoo because that's something i really dislike the aftercare process and just having to heal a tattoo is always a hassle and just especially for me like small tattoos they heal quick and fast and you don't really notice it but i guess the last time that i really felt the healing process was with my armpits and that was a journey it's a fever dream that i don't want to remember i don't know how i got through that there was no other way really but <laughs> yeah also i want my neck tattoo touched up like my chest area because if you remember I did have an infection right there and a bunch of ink fell out so I want that touched up. Oh, so I'm just really waiting for the baby to arrive and then see how the situation goes because I'm getting mixed signals as to you if you can or can't get tattooed if you're breastfeeding, which is something I plan on doing. I will do my research on that but also I probably wouldn't get tattooed like right away because I just want to get used to. I don't think you ever really get used to, but I don't know, uh, like just have some things down with motherhood and how things function when a baby is around and then see if I can get something done because I really want to get on with my tattoo journey and take you along with it. Lashes done. I do want to do my bottom lashes, but this mascara just sort of transfers a lot so i would end up looking like a raccoon so now i go in with this brown eye brown <laughs> with this brow pencil i go in this looks very haunting but i coat my waterline but just the top of my waterline not the bottom i just check where my lashes are falling and try to follow that direction i can barely see what i'm doing with my mirror being so far basically a shadow of a lash i sort of like an eyeliner but not really because it's a bit smoky and just not very that visible but it does something okay that is done. I don't know if you can see the difference, but I can. It just sort of elevates my eyes a bit and makes it look like I have longer lashes. Yeah, I don't know. Very simple. I'm not going for anything crazy today. And now we can almost finish off with my brows and drawing just some fake hairs on those brows. Make them look more natural and just bushy, I guess. Okay, looks like my brows are done. They're not twins and they're not sisters, maybe cousins, but 
we can work with that. At least I look more put together than I did at the start of this video. I will moisturize my lips with this also Madara, Madara, Madara Cosmetics lip balm. And I'm gonna tint my lips with a lipstick. Not fully draw them in, but just sort of lightly put it there. Let me find it. It's, I guess it's in my bag. The way I am trying to get from place A to place B is really not flattering. I've been using this Bobbi Brown lipstick, art stick that I have had for so many years. It's probably expired, but it works for me. I don't think they even make this shade anymore. Coat my bottom lip a bit, rub it together like that, and then I go in with a little brush, take some off of the lipstick, and just sort of giving a tint to my lips so they don't look that dead. And there you have it. This is my, let's say, everyday makeup look. Who was that? We could call this my almost everyday makeup look. It's just very simple and not complicated. Yeah, and if you're still here, which I'm surprised if you still are, and thank you, um, I am going to be doing a judging my viewers tattoos video very, very soon. I guess it's gonna be the next one. So if you have a tattoo you wanna submit or a tattoo you wanna update me on, I'd love to see it. So I'll be leaving the link to the subreddit where you can submit your tattoos down either in the description or in the comments. So yeah, I'd love to see that. And um, yeah, this is the final look. I'm glad to be back and hoping on making more videos. And I guess I'll see you very soon in one of my next videos. Yeah. Bye guys.